Hello friends and welcome back to some more showdown shenanigans. So we're going to be playing some more VGC this evening, uh, VGC 20, uh, which is the first portion ultra series on the channel tonight. So continuing on with that, the last episode that we played, we played around with uh, Lipod and Duskman Necrozma, which is a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed it. I did say I was going to continue on with that, but I'm still tweaking around with that team. So in the meantime, this is another variation that I um, I'm kind of what we're going to play this evening so just to have a quick look it'll be down in the description the raw pace for you guys to take away try out if you want but we've got it's kind of just standard so uh, blue orb on the primo kyoga uh ferium tab coco wiki on the dialga we've got dragon pulse flash cannon trick room protect there then a soul fest incineroar kind of standard as well uh takes superpower from adamant so galeo is one of the the calcs there uh, we've got Amoongus and Mega Salamon, so it should be quite a lot of fun. So without further ado, let's get our Ultra Ladder Man user on the ladder and start some battles, see what we can do today. So first opponent, we've got Kyoga Lunala and uh, Cheeky Old Murkrow, which is paired with the Tabulele, which um, isn't always the most obvious thing to pair it with. Okay, so uh, I would say Tailwind's predominantly going to be the main source of speed control in this team, although you could look at the Murkrow and say it could have Tailwind, the Lunala could have Trick Room, so um, I think Dialga here are going to do some decent work. Um, got to watch out for the Lele, the Gengar, I do want to bring Incineroar to this match. Um, do we want to bring Incineroar, Dialga, Kyogre, and do we want Coco? Coco could be quite good for like a late game sweep, I guess. So we'll go with that. Whack the timer on and we'll sit back and relax. So my opponent ready to go straight away. So Murkrow and Dunala coming in for my opponent. Got to watch out for Taunt, particularly um, on the Murkrow. Um, so we could fake that slot out and just go for the Trick Room straight away with that Dialga. Let's see what this Lunala is going to do. It's not really in a position to get that much damage out onto our side of the field. Like, it's not really threatening the Incineroar. Uh, we could see a Trick Room to deny our Trick Room. Ooh, we've got the... <laughs> ah, the better option. So we'll Snarl, um, and we will go for... Hmm. What do we want to do? Do we want to chase the Murkrow with a Dragon Pulse? What's coming in? I think the Murkrow probably... It could go Quash here, that's the thing. Um... I'll go Dragon Pulse, I want to get rid of the Murkrow. So we'll, we'll get the Kyogre on the switching, which is pretty nice for us. Uh, Snarl, we can end that Lunala, which is always good. We can end the Kyogre. Dragon Pulse, not doing a massive amount of damage, but doing enough. Uh, we'll see the Menace Moonrays Milstrom into our Dialga, but taking that pretty comfortably. Uh, I think just another Snarl, another round of the... Uh, yeah, so I'll weak this Kyogre a little bit more, get another Dragon Pulse into it. Uh, we'll probably see an Origin Pulse and Imagine. Yeah. Oh, this and Dialga taking out like a champ. So, go for another Snarl and uh, I think maybe Flash Cannon this time into the Lunala. I'm not too worried about the Kyogre here. Uh, so, we'll get another Snarl and Flash Cannon should be enough here to pick up the Lunala. Oh, not quite. So, Dialga just a little bit, but this should proc our berry. Of course, that happens. <laughs> yeah. Okay, the crit there, not really ideal for us. Um, our Trick Room set are gone as well, which isn't ideal. Uh, but we should, we're should. we probably going to see Tailwind set up. We'll go for another Snarl and we'll go for a Water Spout. Uh, I think, yeah, there we go, there's a Tailwind. Snarl, and we'll get rid of the Murkrow here. Uh, but we've got Kyogre to come back in, which is not ideal for us with Gengar. Okay. Uh, Origin Pulse, I think, is probably going to be enough. Um, I'm going to sack Coco because I think the fake out coming back in is going to be quite useful for us to uh, utilize for the rest of the game. We'll go for an Origin Pulse as well. That should get the Gengar if we can connect. Sludge Bomb. Ooh, Thunder. Ah, uh, could it have went any worse for us? Could it have? I don't think so. Um, hmm. Ah, oh, Coco's in a terrible position now. Um, hmm. I mean, we should probably take an Origin Pulse. Okay, we'll protect Coco. We're protecting them there. 
uh, sludge bomb, so we're gonna free snarl into this Gengar. Um, the problem is now Coco needs a double protect, really. Um, do we double protect? I think they have to. I think they have to. Oh, we get it. There we go. So now I should take this. Yeah, just about. And there's a snarl. I misses the Gengar. Not good. Um. All right. So, Gengar. Um. Let's try and win the speed tie, I guess, with the Gengar, and go for another snarl. No, we don't win it. And even the reduction in the special attack doesn't help. This is just, ugh. Thunder Kyogre. That switch in. Didn't expect the thunder. Okay, good game to my opponent. We'll go on to the next one. The crit on the Dialga really killed the game off for us, though, there. You know, um, like, that would have just propped our berry, and I think closing it out with Dialga would have been a lot easier than, than what the game would have been for us otherwise. Or was otherwise. So, we've got our next. We've got Ivelto, Kyogre. Um, and then that combination of Drifblim Lele there. Uh, okay, well Dialga. Gonna get a Trick Room up. I think we need to watch out for the Amoongus if we do go Trick Room mode. Um, so Coco gonna be quite pivotal for us, I reckon, in this game. We could lead off with Coco, to be honest. Because um, it's probably Scarf Lele. I think Incineroar and Kyogre. Let's go for it. Okay. Oh, we're not going to see that. My opponent really hasn't got anything to switch in for this this Eveltal. Um, so we can Trick Room. Probably Vault Switch out onto the Eveltal. Although that's so obvious. Like, that's the thing. Uh, it could protect and we could take a Stomping Tantrum from the Mega Metagross. But I think you've got to be more prioritized about stopping the Trick Room. Oh, okay. Um, I think the nice thing about doing this is, well, Coco's in the back. Uh, yeah, we'll get Incineroar in right now. Because you kind of probably want to try and get uh, Lele onto the field now. Um, which you definitely have got for the Metacross. Uh, I don't think we're going to be able to prevent the Amoongus getting a spore off. It's where it's going to spore. We could fake out the Amoongus and just go for a flash cannon into the, the Metagross. That could be an option for us. The problem is the fake out's not going to work though, is it? Um, we could just double down into the Amoongus. Or protect and just flare blitz the Amoongus. That might be the better option. Oh, okay. They haven't got the Lele. At least we know that. Okay, Toxic. Huh. That's interesting. Hmm. All right. Well, have they got. Mm, okay, well, we'll go Dragon Pulse and Snarl. Just weaken this Kyogre. Force Band, we do take just about. Uh, the Toxic ticking away there. Is it worth preserving? I'm gonna go into Kyogre with Incineroar, just preserve this Incineroar for later on. Because uh, I think the fake out will be like, quite useful. Uh, we are going to see the Eveltal come on to the field. And the Kyogre just protect here. Okay, that's fine. Because uh, now we've got uh, Dragon Pulse into Kyogre and Water Spout. I doubt the Eveltal's got uh, Sucker Punch, to be honest. Okay, we're going to see Amoongus come in, protect there. That's fine. Uh, our Trick Room's going to run out, which is actually alright for us. No, it's not too bad because we should be able to get another trick room up. Uh, whatever comes in, I think now. Even if it is the Kyle, oh, it's a Metagross. Okay. I'd probably say you're going to double into the Dialga here. Um, but that leaves the Kyogre kind of open to do whatever it wants. We'll trick room. Um, yeah, we'll trick room and we'll Origin Pulse. Oh. Come on, get our berry back. Tailwind. <laughs> oh, it's not going well for my opponent here. Uh, that should be game. Uh, we will just uh, we'll, we'll, we'll water spout, can't we? So, yeah, water spout and flash cannon there. 
it's not so good. Dialgas Calx taking that hammer arm like a boss. I mean, the Metagross is minus one, but we'll still underspeed it. Oh, this guy's getting angry, man. That is not. Ah. Uh... <laughs> You're on candid camera, my friend. Ah. Uh, getting... People get upset about these things, but never mind. It's only a game. It's only a game, my friend. It's only a game. No need to get so upset. Well, we'll move on to our next one, my friends. So, uh, we've got Poker Starman. So, here we go. We've got Kyogre and Lunala. Uh, spawn cast of Salamence and Incineroar, Tepafini and Cartana. I like the look of this team. It looks really nice. You've got that Firewater Grass called there with the the uh, Incineroar and the Cartana. With the Finny and the Kyogre there, which is really nice. You're probably looking at more uh, Tailwind support from Salamence, Lunala, I'd imagine. And even Cartana can do it there. Um, Z move probably on Lunala, could be on Cartana though, because uh, it. Mm, I don't know, I don't know, maybe Sasha and Cartana, or maybe Scarf, who knows. Uh, Trick Room, nonetheless, is going to be pretty strong for us in this match. Uh, Dialga does a nice job against Salamence, uh, the Olga, um, most things, most things, I'm saying. So we'll go Dialga and we'll go Incineroar here. Uh, do I want Amoongus in this match? Because I think the redirection could be good, but I don't know. Uh, maybe Coco's just better behind Kyogre again. Um, okay, let's Trick Room, let's Fake Out the Cartana. Because I don't want to take a Sacred Sword. And it could have the Z move, who knows? Uh, we're going to see the Lunar switch out, Kyogre hit the field. Uh, we'll get the fake out into the Cartana break, a potential sash there, which is always nice. Uh, and then there's the trick room. So we could, I think, double into the, uh, we'll go for a Snarl and a Dragon Pulse into Kyogre here. I'll we'll probably take a Sacred Sword from the Cartana, but it is minus one. Origin Pulse coming out, misses both. That's really unfortunate for my opponent, and Sacred Sword into the Incineroar there. Um... Just go for the same again. What do we? I might go for a snarl and turn pulse into cut. Yeah, okay, that's not the best. Okay, so we're not going to be doing anything to the fin here with that dragon pulse. Yeah, immune. immunity. Uh, there's the origin pulse missing this incineral every time, which is not ideal for my opponent. Uh, we'll go flash cannon, and I think. Uh, how many turns? So we'll go Snow once more. I reckon the Kyogre switches. Oh, it doesn't. Oh, okay. Um, it's a bit of a shame for my opponent because with these Origin Pulse misses, it's not ideal. The Incineroar would have went down by now. Light Screen coming up for my opponent. Um, we'll go Dragon Pulse into... Um, it's weakened though. That's the only problem. Uh, I mean we could switch into Coco and go Dragon Pulse into the Kyogre. That's an option there. Uh, I want to preserve Incineroar for later on if we can. Like, and we'll get Coco onto the field here. So, Dragon Pulse is doing a little bit more. Even behind the light screen, something we're doing like a massive amount. Get the Origin Pulse coming out and Heal Pulse. Okay. Trick Room ends. We've got Coco onto the field. So, that's it's not the worst. Um, trick Room again. And we could just go for a Thunderbolt into Finny. Or we could just Volt Switch out onto the Finny. That may be a better option. Yeah, proc a berry there. We'll get Incineroar in. We'll probably lose Incineroar here. Heal Pulse again. What was about this time around? Yeah, but we'll get around Kyogre in after the Trick Room setup, so that's alright. Uh, we really need to get rid of this Finny, so a Water Spout and Flash Cannon. Yeah, double into it. And this should be enough. Should be. Ah, oh, just enough. Okay, that's good. Now, uh, Light Screen got one more turn to play out. Uh, let's go Dragon Pulse, and I've got to worry about the Z move on the Lunala, though. That's the only issue here. Um, we could double protect just to bait out the Z move. Yeah, there it is. I'm trying to go for the Dialga, I imagine. Oh, the Kyogre. Okay. Right, the Light Screen wears off now. That's better for us. Uh, we'll go Flash Cannon into the Lunala and we'll go Water Spout. Yeah. Oh, crit. That's pretty fortunate for us. The Cortana is going to be very difficult for us to deal with, although we do have 
Coco on the back, so we should we should be all right, I think. Um, I'm just gonna go Dragon Pulse and Raw Spout. Oh, Cartana doesn't protect. It is bulkier though. Uh, this damage is all right because I think Coco can come in now and, and kind of clean up from here. Whatever happens, Sacred Sword. Yeah, uh, but we'll get Coco onto the field. Um, <clears throat> let's go Thunderbolt into Cartana and. Yeah, the Kyogre's so weak now, I can't really do very much. And we'll go for a water spout. Yeah. I don't think the crit lies there. And this should be enough. This The Origin Pulses have been really unkind to my opponent though, so a bit unfortunate for them. Um, and we'll just skip and go into our next one. So, yeah, going alright with the team. I think uh, there's, like, there's still some like areas to refine with it for sure. Um, we've got a nice opponent. A really good looking Palkia Kyogre team. Uh, Support and cast of Scrafty, Tap Coco, Amoongus, and Stack Attacker. So, probably predominantly a Trick Room based team. So, we'll go toe to toe with my opponent uh, with their Trick Room. Um, I think Dialga is going to perform really well in this match, to be honest. Um, so, I do want to bring it. You've got to watch out for the Scrafty, of course. It's Drain Punch, Low Kick capabilities. Do I? I think just the same four again. To be honest, Coco can be really good with the Ferium. Uh, it helps us against the Amoongus, but maybe actually leading off with Dialga Coco just to get the terrain up, going into Incineroar and then Kyogre in the back. Uh, okay, my opponent's thinking the same thing. Um, hmm. Are they gonna set the Trick Room up for us? Let's go Dragon Pulse and let's switch into Incineroar here with Coco. I want to keep Coco as healthy as I can for the late game because I feel like late game is going to be really important for us. Light screen coming out. Ooh, critical hit. What's this Dialga on? It feels like it's on steroids. Um, okay, we'll flash cannon the Coco and we will. Do we just U turn? The Palkia. Or snarl it. Yeah, yeah, to U turn it and get Kyogre onto the field, I think. Okay, Scrafty coming out. That's fine. Um, ooh, the jack button and the Scrafty. Wow, okay. That's interesting. And the Gigavolt. Okay, well, I mean, we take that pretty comfortably here. Yeah. Um, hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Snarl's gonna be good. Uh, Dragon Pulse as well. So I'll go Dragon Pulse Snarl. Let's see what my opponent does. I'm probably gonna. Oh, what's about maybe? Spot. We'll take it though. Um, we'll protect, we'll bring Kyogre in. I'm just hoping we don't see a low kick from the Scrafty into our Kyogre, that wouldn't be ideal. Goku coming out, okay. Uh, yeah, the high jump kick. Oh, oh, getting punished. Punished for that. Uh, we'll switch Dialgar out and we'll go for. Because uh, it could have Super Fang, that's the only thing. We'll go for an Origin Pulse just to be safe. Hopefully it's enough behind the light screen to still get the Coco. It's going to protect though. High jump kick coming out again. Uh, Origin Pulse should be enough now to get the... Oh, miss. Trick Room runs out. Light screen runs out. We'll get our Coco onto the field. Um, let's go for a Twinkle Tackle into the Scrafty to get rid of it and go for the Dialga switch on Kyogre. Okay. A wild charge from the opposing core course, so that's interesting. <coughs> Scrafty probably comes back onto the field now. Um hmm. If my opponent got left, they've got Kyogre. Um she's got Dazzle and Trick Room. Hmm. Yeah, let's go Dazzle Trick Room. Fake out. Light screen. Trick Room. Okay. Let's go Dazzle and protect Dialga. Because I feel like a jump kick could come out here. Our Coco doesn't really feel too threatened. I don't think a Dazzle will get the Scrafty either from this range behind the light screen. Depends if it's a Salt Vest, which I suspect it probably is. Knock off. U turn. Kyogre. 
Oh, we get this crafty. Huh. Okay. What were, we, what were we worrying about? Um, three turns of trick room left. I think we're going to be all right, to be honest. I want to get more damage onto the the Kyogre though, really more than anything else. Um, we're going to lose Coco here, I'd imagine. I'll go for a I'll go for a Volt Switch into the Kyogre and. Dragon Pulse as well. What's about? Is that just that berry? Yeah, that's good. Very good. Come on, charge again. Um, and we'll get our own Kyogre in, and then we can water spout. That should be enough to get the opposing Coco. Depending on the opposing Kyogre's speed, but we should be slower. Okay. There's a Scald we take. No burn as well. Um, and then the water spout. The opposing Kyogre is slower than ours, which is interesting. Um, we'll go for a water spout again and a flash cannon into the Coco. Goes for a double protect. There's a scald. Water spout should be enough to take both down now. Yep, and good game to my opponent. So, um, that's going to wrap it up there for us, my friends. We've had some really, actually, decent games here with this team today. Uh, some food for thought, though, to think about going forward. We're not really utilising the Amoongus or the Salamence, although I do think they're quite pivotal members of the team. And I think it's just uh, what we've been bringing and what has been working is just from the, the, the sorts of teams we've been playing. So we'll come back to this 100% and we'll take this team and see if we can push it a little bit further, come across some different archetypes. But it's been doing generally all right at the minute. And I do think Dialga is a nice pick at the moment in the format. I would really probably like Wide Guard in there somewhere, but uh, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section what you think of this team. And uh, we'll come back to it later on in the week. So till then, my friends, take care and bye bye.